Welcome to this video or blog on, using design thinking with the ADI model of instructional design. While this course provides a high-level overview of the ADI model, click the link in description to enroll in our course, that will make you an expert with using the ADI model in your instructional design projects. The design thinking process. Design thinking is a problem-solving methodology that can be used in a variety of contexts, including business, education, and the nonprofit sector. The core principle of design thinking is that solutions should be developed through an iterative process of research, prototyping, and testing. This approach allows for a more user-centered and efficient design process, as it allows for early feedback and refinements to be made before a final product is released. Now, the aim of every training solution is to meet the needs of the learners. Thus, it makes sense to examine the design thinking process, to see how it can be leveraged to design and deliver training that solves learner problems. The design thinking process is an approach to problem solving, that starts with understanding the needs of the people who will be using the solution. Only after the needs are fully understood, you can define the problem. After the problem is defined, potential solutions can be generated. These solutions are then evaluated against criteria such as, feasibility and impact before a final solution is selected and implemented. Throughout the process, it is important to solicit feedback from stakeholders and end users. You should be open to making changes based on that feedback. The design thinking process is an iterative one, and it is through this continuous cycle of learning and refinement, that the best solutions are found. ADI Overview The ADI model comprises five phases, analysis, design, development, implementation, and evaluation. The ADI model is a framework for instructional design that can be used to incorporate design thinking into your instruction plans. Incorporating design thinking into your instruction plans. Design thinking is iterative, while ADI is more linear. Hence, applying design thinking to ADI may not seem straightforward. However, there are certain tips that will enable you to apply design thinking to ADI. For example, in the analysis phase, you will identify your learner's needs and learning objectives. So, apply design thinking and analysis to identify the key problem you are trying to solve with the planned training. After you zero in on the problem, define the needs and learning objectives. Brainstorm with the stakeholders or your learners, to define the key learning objectives and the problem your training should solve. Iterate as many times as needed during this phase, to have a robust problem statement and objectives. These will be used during the rest of your course design and development. In the design phase, you will develop a plan for meeting those objectives. To apply design thinking during the design phase, brainstorm, and document learning strategies, to help you achieve the learning objectives set during the analysis phase. Keep iterating here until you have a sign-off or any prototype of course design and structure. Just like the analysis phase, closely work with all the stakeholders, to ensure that your structure flows well and helps learners achieve the learning objectives. In the development phase, you will create instructional materials and activities. Applying design thinking during the development phase, is all about executing the problem-solving solutions you identified during the design phase. However, feel free to iterate different screen and interactivity designs during development, to align with the design thinking mindset. This could involve writing activities for a classroom session, developing and including graphic, that will help learners visualize solutions to problems, adding interactivities to self-paced e-learning course, that will engage learners and teach the required skills or solutions. In the implementation phase, you will pilot your instruction plan with a small group of learners or stakeholders. Next, based on the feedback during implementation, you can consider updating the training content or activities. Finally, in the evaluation phase, you will assess the effectiveness of your instruction and adjust as needed for future updates. Thus, on the surface it may seem difficult to apply design thinking to ADI, but when you consider design thinking as a mindset, rather than a fixed process, you can apply it to a variety of situations. Overcoming challenges of using design thinking with ADI. Design thinking is a user-centered approach to problem solving that can be used in various settings, including educational design. However, some challenges can arise when using design thinking within the ADI model. One challenge is that, design thinking focuses on generating new ideas throughout. In ADI, the emphasis on generating new ideas is majorly during the analysis and design phases. As a result, it can be difficult to integrate design thinking into the later stages of the ADI process. Another challenge is that, 
design thinking is often considered a more open-ended process, while ADI is linear and structured. This can make it hard to know where to start when using design thinking within ADI. However, there are some ways to overcome these challenges. For example, try starting with a small pilot project to get a feel for how design thinking can be integrated into ADI. Or, focus on using design thinking during the analysis and design phases, rather than trying to use it throughout the entire process. By taking these steps, you can overcome challenges associated with using design thinking in ADI. Benefits of using design thinking with ADI Design thinking has been gaining traction in recent years, as an effective approach to problem solving. Unlike traditional linear methods, which involve following a set of steps in a rigid order, design thinking is more flexible and adaptable. This makes it well suited for use in ADI models for instructional design, which are often complex and require constant adjustments. In addition, design thinking encourages creativity and outside-the-box thinking, which can lead to more innovative and effective instructional materials. Additionally, the focus on collaboration and user feedback can help ensure that the training is aligned with the target audience's needs. Overall, design thinking offers several potential benefits for those working in the field of instructional design or e-learning. Design thinking can be a useful tool for instructional designers to create more innovative and effective learning experiences. By following the steps of the design thinking process, you can generate new ideas, test them out with users, and iterate on them until you have a final product that meets the needs of your learners. If you're interested in learning more about e-learning and instructional design, be sure to check out our courses on Udemy and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching or reading the blog.